Hello, hello! <laughs> a short while ago we did an art haul with a twist video, which was an art haul from home, which encompassed this top drawer of the dresser, which is all my watercolor stuff. Today we will be doing art haul from home with this second drawer, which is my acrylic drawer. That's what I call it in my head anyway. I should probably label these. So let's see if we can even open this one one-handed or not, because we couldn't with the watercolor drawer. Oh yeah, it's hard. It's very full of stuff. I have no idea what's in here. Same as with the watercolor drawer. I have not been to the bottom of this in probably five years. I've added a few things on the top, but that's about it. So let's pull this out, see what we have in there, and then you guys can vote on what you want to see me play with for a future video. Alright, just like that last video, I've put it down here on the floor because it's very large and in charge and takes up my entire desk space. So, we'll dig out of this, put things on the desk, and you can see what the heck is even in this so-called acrylic drawer. First thing we have is this, which I have pulled out from this drawer and used many times. This is that wax paper palette. It is a disposable palette I use with acrylics and oil painting. I have another one of those far down the thing here. So, this is one without... A thumb hole and it's exactly the same thing and then in an art subscription box we have a couple of canvases and these are hard backed like cardboard canvases and I put them in this drawer because it's a convenient place for them to be along those same lines are a few other hard backed cardboard canvases they have a gesso covering. I know, they're pretty standard. You guys probably know exactly what these are. I have my transfer paper. This is the transfer paper that we found in the watercolor drawer. And I'm like, hmm, I don't really use that with watercolor. So we put it in the acrylic drawer right on top. And it sat there ever since. I keep my tracing paper in that drawer, apparently. <laughs> tracing paper, pretty standard stuff. I've only used it a few times. So it came with... 50 sheets, there's probably 48 sheets still in there. I don't use it very often. Aha! This is the gouache we got in the Smart Art box. And this is like regular, real gouache. Like gouache gouache? <laughs> it's gouache gouache. Anyway, this is actual reworkable when wet gouache. So that's really cool. I enjoyed it the first time I used it, but I've only used it once. And I'm really interested in gouache technically, so I want to get this out and play with that some more. Another canvas panel, stick that with the rest, and a liquid art panel. So this is for fluid acrylics, so that's why it's in this drawer, but I think it would be really fun. I don't really like acrylic pouring per se. I do have some fluid acrylics in an art subscription box that I have not opened yet, so maybe we can open that box at some point and try this panel with them. I'm sure it came with a panel, but who knows? All right, more transfer paper. This white transfer paper is really nice to use when you're painting and you already have a color on your canvas because you can put your drawing back over it and the lines come out white and you can see it. It's also great for if you have a black canvas or something like that you're starting with. And just a little bit more of the white graphite paper. It came with an art subscription box. This here is just some really old carbon paper I keep around. From my childhood, you can kind of see there, it kind of looks like a dog, so I think this is what I used when I did my friend's acrylic dog paintings. I'll link that in the corner for you guys. But this is very waxy. Uh, I would not use this with watercolors or anything like that. So yeah, this stuff is ancient. I have a lot of it. I'll use it up, I don't know, probably never. Next are these wood boards. Most of this stuff probably came in an art subscription box. Hey, I said the word right that time. So we have some of those. I love doing Posca markers on wood, so that could be really fun. And this is an all media art panel. So this has a canvas surface. This reminds me a lot of the crescent boards that we've received a lot of lately in the art subscription boxes. So I bet that's what these are very similar to. Real quick, this is what the drawer still looks like. It is still completely full. Yippers, here's the desk. Lots of stuff on it and still a full drawer. These were the Jacquard Lumiere paints and I put the paints in this drawer. So here is the swatch sheet for that. And those were really fun to use. Hey, I do have a black canvas. Anyway, typical cardboard canvas, but black, which will be really fun. Uh, those dogs that I already linked in the corner that I did for my friend. Here are some of the printouts that I tested for those and did not end up using. These can actually be just used for scrap paper now. This is one I was doing of my own dog, Duffy, and I was trying to get that posterized look, 
but it doesn't really work out great with an all black dog and I have not done him yet. So I think I'll go ahead and use this as scrap paper as well because if I do do him, it'll be a little different. I was going to do my niece's dog in the same way, never got around to it. I will be making that scrap paper as well. Ah, so I have Holbein gouache. At the time, at least, I thought it was gouache. It turns out that it is acro gouache, but anyway, I did a little color chart with it when I first got it back in 2018. <sighs> haven't touched it since because I once I learned that it was acro gouache and not gouache I was kind of sad and disappointed and didn't get it back out and here are colors useful useful info huh I don't know what these are these might be all my Liquitex greens that I was swatching when I was doing my friend's dogs because I used a lot of greens in the background of her dog paintings so I assume that's probably what this is because this kind of looks like acrylic paint and very transparent like Liquitex is, so I assume that's what these are. Real quick though, in my acrylic drawer are supposed to be all of these acrylic paints here, but my son got these out to try and paint with acrylics and they have sat here probably for a year and a half. I have not put them away because suddenly, like after he took these out of my drawer, my drawer was full. I don't know how that happened. So these need to actually go back in that drawer. So that's what I'm hoping to do today. But anyway, I have this whole 48 set of Liquitex Basics acrylic paint and we'll see if we can get that back in. Next, I have the big daddy of wax paper palettes and I had a problem with them coming up from this often so I put the zip tie around them. Pretty well took care of that. These are those sad Grumbacher watercolors that I created my own Mission Gold watercolor palette out of the palette itself and tried to save these paints. Anyway, that was a total disaster. Check out that video there. <laughs> yeah. So I have these still and I put them in my acrylic drawer because I think these are more like gouache paints than watercolor. And for some reason I put gouache in my acrylic drawer because why not, right? All right, let's see what else we have. This is what this looks like now that I got the big, that thing out of the drawer. It is looking a bit emptier. You can kind of see a bottom. <laughs> so this one might not be too bad. We'll, we'll see how that goes. I have this single sheet of graphite transfer paper. It is well used, well loved, but I just keep putting it back in there and reusing it over and over again. So in any of my watercolor videos, if you've seen me pull out a piece of graphite transfer paper, this is probably that piece because I just keep putting it in there, grabbing it and reusing it. Here are those Holbein, what I thought were gouache that I was telling you about. It's very sad that they're just <sighs> glorified acrylics. Anyway, see, they shouldn't say gouache when it is acrylic polymer emulsion opaque colors. Just so wrong. So anyway, it's acrylic that dries matte. And that's really the only difference between acrylic acrylics and acryl gouache. Oh, this one is acrylic gouache. So it's only the Turner, I think, that say acryl gouache. So this is acrylic gouache. Anyway, high quality though. Uh, Holbein is usually anyway. So maybe we'll play with these regardless. Why not? Along those same lines, when I was getting into acrylic painting, I heard that TriArt was like the brand. These are probably so old, they're probably dried out in their tubes because they do have a little air in them. Nope, they're soft. Oh, that is a relief. Definitely should use these. They were probably a lot more liquidy when I first got them and now not so much. My niece and I tried these a long time ago. I've had these for years and years and years. This is where I get my white gesso and my black gesso anytime you have seen me pull those out and use. Also, gesso. These are all those teeny tiny little panels that I got in the Buy It, Try It video. I'll link that up there for you guys. That was a fun video. I have all of these that I can try it. <laughs> this is kind of making me feel like, mm, I have a lot I could do, a lot I should do. Ah, you guys feel that way? Like, why do I have so much of this stuff? I don't know, because Art supplies are addicting, that's why. Oh, 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 look at this. <laughs> this stuff's dangerous. Like, I'm afraid to even open the lid. This is charcoal. Yeah, pure powdered charcoal. So I saw this class online where she used the charcoal as like the background of her painting. She did this owl over the top in acrylics and it was amazing. So I got some charcoal. And the reason it's down this far is because I gave some to my niece because she needed it for our school. And I don't think she actually ever ended up using it. The stuff will last forever. This is another item I got in the Buy It, Try It video. These are the Soho Urban Artist acrylic paints in red. 
blue and yellow. So I should probably give these a try. More of my favorite stuff, gesso board. I really do like this stuff. I realized that I don't like painting small as much as I originally thought I was going to, so these kind of just sit here. So I definitely need to work on some small paintings. Maybe I can make a set of paintings that kind of put next to each other on the wall and kind of go together. I think that would be really fun. Along those lines is more gesso board. So I can use these with oils and acrylics. They're just in my acrylics drawer. I don't have an oil drawer because my oil supplies are actually underneath this desk right here in a toolbox. One of my son's creations a long time ago. More gesso board just that has been opened. You can see that is a fail redo. Same thing here. I don't know that that's mine. It doesn't look like my work, but who knows? So yeah, more gesso board. Got lots of that. Reference picture, I want to use something. Canvas paper for oil and acrylic. These are not open, so I can't show them to you, but I suspect they're not great. Four by four, really thick canvas mounted on wood. So those could be fun. I have three of those, like a soul. That would be fun too to put on the wall in like a series like that. Things are getting messy on my desk here. And then one that I gessoed with this black gesso because I was going to do more paintings with a black background and never got to it. Here's the drawer so far with the kitty helper. Daisy. She's like, leave me alone, I just ate. Anyway, here's the drawer so far. Not bad, it looks like all we have left are some more of those canvases, lots of gesso board, and a whole bunch of miscellaneous paints. So let's pull those out and see what they are. Yeah, before we do that, let's grab this. This is, I don't know what this is, made with 100% cotton canvas. It's like sheets of canvas, basically. Okay, and then, ugh, I figured these were crescent. I'm like, oh, these feel like crescent. <laughs> I'm kind of being mean to them, but this is that one I did in that one video where I started with the feeties and put like five layers of gesso over and it never covered the feeties. So then I was just going to cover it with black gesso, but I don't really like these boards. I should probably just get rid of them. I'm not sure. I could use them as practice, I guess, but who does that? Along with that is another linen canvas. Okay, so it's linen, but they gessoed the one side of it. Linen primed with two coats of acid-free titanium primer. So that could be fun. Three more of these. One of these in case you need it. Two of these were in my giveaway bin already. Uh, that's probably going in the giveaway bin. These are the Royal and Lane Nickel acrylic paints. We must have gotten these in a subscription box too. I just don't remember. So yeah, we have lots of acrylic paint. Oh, here's some of my airbrush supplies. I wondered where that ended up. I'm like, I have an airbrush. I don't know where. So I guess we'll never use it. <laughs> Dang it, now that I found it, I'm gonna have to figure out how to use it. That could be fun and terrifying. Scrap paper. Oh, these, these were in there. These were so much fun. I really liked using these acrylic paints. These are the PBO Matte Pub paints. I really enjoyed these. If I can find which video that was, I will link that in the corner for you. This is just a handy scraper. I found this in really old stuff that I already had, so I never bought this, I just had it. The point is, these are great for scraping off your palette. If you actually have a glass, acrylic, and oil painting palette, you can scrape your paint off with these. So I've kept these. Someday I may have a palette like that, who knows? I told you we'd get the paint out, but I'm kind of avoiding it because it's a lot of loose stuff that's scary. Anyway, here are the Da Vinci Pro panels. So we have resist grip, thought we had a couple of different ones. Nope, these are all resist grip. So they have a coarse textured panel basically on wood. And here are more. Well, I should probably use those. I think this is what I painted my friend's dog on maybe. One last look at the drawer before I finish pulling everything out and the cat because cats. Another big gesso board. This one's nice. This is an eight by eight and in my head I really like square panels. So that's why I have so many. These are the golden heavy body acrylics that we received in the subscription box and I used them really watered down and just did this really fun effect with them which I know is not the point of heavy body acrylics but I had a really good time with that and so I still have all these and I can use them more like they were intended for all of those of you that yelled at me about it. No just kidding none of you yelled at me about it. <laughs> I just had a few comments like uh, you're supposed to put those on thick. I'm like yeah I know but I didn't want to. <laughs> Oops, dropped it. Plus the gloss medium for thinning things down. The two tubes of gouache. This was the buy it, try it video actually, I think. Yeah, I think it's already linked in the corner. Also in the buy it, try it video, we received all of these Turner brand acro gouache paints. And I did a little painting with those, which is back here. Hang on, this little painting with these is like Arizona sunset craziness. So yeah, I have all of these. And again, they are the acro gouache, not the gouache gouache. Ugh, keep dropping them, which makes me sad, but whatever, they're matte. It doesn't look that matte actually on this little painting. Oh yeah, it is, it is totally matte. 
Cool, no shine there. Some acrylic paint we received in a subscription box and it is meant to refill this little acrylic marker thing that I had with my markers. However, there's so much air in there, I think that, oh no, there's a lot of liquid in there. I just have to shake it. I was gonna say, I think it dried up, but nope, it's all good. Do I use it? Never. Okay, palette knives, they were in there. A few million of those. Last but not least in the drawer are the Jacquard Lumiere paints. I loved these. I know I already told you that. These were so much fun and I have all these. I'm gonna drop them. You ready? Oh, dropped them. Drawer is empty. It is very glittery though. Still haven't accounted for all of these acrylics. They'll need to go back in there because I'm tired of having them out on the side of my living room. Quick look at my desk from my point of view. The light's kind of bad because it is dusk outside right now, but anyway. This is everything that came out of the drawer, plus those Liquitex have to go back in there. So I'm gonna spend some time figuring out who, what, when, where, and show you how it looks at the end. Wish me luck, guys. Midway update here. There's the other cat, by the way. Got them both. This is how full it looks right now, and I'm putting stuff back in there, and this is everything that's left on the desk to put back in there, including a few things over here. So it's seeming quite full, and it means that some things are getting quite buried, like my largest wax paper palette, my tracing paper. They would be really hard to get to, but I almost never use them, but it does make me realize that I need to come up with a different place for those in the future, just not right now. And do I put the gouache back in with this stuff or not? I'm kind of leaning towards not, but I don't have another place for it, so I'll think about that. All right, it's been like three seconds and I already changed my mind because I use these all the time. I would want them on top, but if I put them on top, then they cover everything in the drawer and I don't like that. So I'm actually going to pull out the tracing paper and the big wax paper palette and find a different place for them right now instead of later. So they are not going to be buried in there and I won't have that issue if I ever want to use them. All right, that wasn't too bad. Let me explain what we have going on here. I just grabbed some plastic food containers that probably have lids, but I don't know, and we've never used them in forever, so put my paints in there, organized them, Liquitex Basics, found a home. These are going in the giveaway bin. I am putting gouache somewhere different. I don't know where yet. We'll figure that out, and I'm finding a different home for my transfer paper, tracing paper, and my wax paper palettes. I don't know where yet. So much better. Love it. Well, this is great for me. I now have two very organized drawers out of five. I have three to go, and I am feeling really good about the way things are looking. I can really access things so much more easily. What did you guys see in this drawer that you would like me to get out and play with? Also, there are bloopers at the end, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for joining me today. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. My dogs are walking around. <laughs> knocked over my water cup. Anyway, good thing it was empty. But I do have some fluid acrylics in an art subscription. Oh, that word again. <laughs> so it is looking a little bit, ah, almost fell over. Here are Da Vinci, Da Vinci. <laughs> Even I knew better than that. Brain, mouth, work together. Also in that buy it, try it video, we received all of these. Oh, it fell out of my hands.